so before getting into today's highly requested video i do want to say a couple things i will try my best to link everything that's in this closet down below in the description box if i cannot find the same exact link or the same item i should say keep in mind that some of these clothes are three to four years old i will try my best to find something similar and the last thing i want to mention which is probably something you guys won't recognize or probably won't even notice is the camera quality i'm on my vlog camera instead of my big hd dslr camera and the reason for that is because the mic on this one even though it never wants to focus <laughs> the mic on this camera is 10 times better than my other camera so with that all being said let's get into my closet I do want to remind those of you that are new, I share my closet with my boyfriend. So it's a one big giant closet. So when you step inside, his little area is all over there. We do have like an extra foamy mattress. So when people sleep over like family members, we'll put that on the couch in the living room. So it's kind of like a bed. I keep my tripod, my yoga mat, and my weights on this side. I don't use my mo yoga mat here because we have carpet. If you've ever used a yoga mat on carpet, it's like a magic carpet ride it is so slippery and it's pointless i just use that to hold my tripod in place and for weights i have five pounds and two pounds this shoe rack was worth every penny i believe i paid like 20 something dollars for it I mean, it was super easy to build I, I built it myself on a in a vlog thing with this shoe rack though you have to be careful not to put too many shoes like overload it because i think it will break so try to keep it minimum you don't want to overdo it it's not real wood that can weaken if there's just too much weight on this so just keep that in mind the ones that are missing are my slippers that you guys see on me right now this is what i deal with milo what are you doing hey so right here is my carry-on luggage i prefer a carry-on rather than a giant luggage it's free to get on the plane with it when we travel i bring that and i bring a backpack which I don't have a backpack right now. Um, the one I did have back in 2019 ripped. I do need a backpack, but I don't plan on traveling anytime soon. So it's not something I really need to buy right now. So all I have is my carry-on and that's what I take when I travel. I try my best to travel as light as possible. So I try not to overdo it. I don't bring my entire collection of shoes. Whenever we do travel, I will do a packing video like i did in the past all right so now i'm just going to show up here really quick that right there is extra office supplies i love to write things out i love to just organize like with planners and i don't go too crazy with buying a bunch of planners i only have one i just love to write i do have extra notebooks and i have colored pencils i have little envelopes those are for our checks because we do write checks out for rent pretty old school here still and i do have my passport in my passport wallet. And with the colored pencils, I do like to color every now and then to relax myself like on a Sunday or whenever I have time. So for me, I prefer colored pencils over crayons. For that box right there, that is photos. Family members, me as a kid. Um, it's just a memory box. I have like my old school IDs from when I was like 13, 12, because um, the schools that I used to go to, you had to have like an ID to get into the building. Um, it was like a security thing back then. So yeah, I just saved all of those and it's nice to like go into that box every now and then I, I just dig into that box once a year and just reminisce on the past send pictures like to my sisters and we'll just talk about like how young we were even though we're still young it's nice to just go through stuff and reminisce so between the two baskets that is pajamas i swap out my pajamas every three days so those are gonna go to the wash tomorrow this is my last night with them because it's gonna be the third day mark i know some people change their pajamas every night to each his own we don't have money like that to be washing clothes constantly so yeah we have to pay to wash our clothes and i've talked about this before we don't have a washer and dryer the day we get one i am going to be so excited so i wanted to keep this a little realistic and show you guys you know not everything has to be super minimal and perfect i have clothes just out in the open folded like that for easy access so when the nighttime comes and i'm out of the shower i just grab these and put them on for that basket right there that is basically my socks my period underwear my regular underwear bras lint roller fabric shaver so 
all miscellaneous stuff is in there for like undergarments, I should say. The next bin is loungewear slash pajamas. I keep my black t-shirts here. By the way, the black t-shirts I have are from Old Navy. So comfortable, super inexpensive, and yeah, I just love that they have solid colors, no logos on them. So like I was saying, I have sweatpants, I have pajama sets. So it's just a bunch of loungewear and pajamas. It's my like go-to bin when the afternoon hits. So now that we got everything out of the way in the closet, let's talk about the clothes. So for dresses, I only own two. I love both of these dresses equally. And one is very like dress up-y. And one, like one I bought, which is the H&M one, I bought that for special occasions. So if you have to go to a funeral, unfortunately, you can wear that dress. If you have to go out to dinner, like a professional dinner or whatever, you can wear that dress. Date night, you can still wear it. So that's kind of why I bought that dress. It fits me like a glove. I actually showed it in a vlog before and a lot of you guys really, really liked it. For the second dress, that is my Skims dupe. I've talked about this too in a vlog and I posted a picture of me in it on Instagram. It hugs all of my curves the right way. It makes me feel confident and it's comfortable. It's not like super skin tight even though it looks it. And the only change I had to do with it is that I had to go to a tailor to get it hemmed. I am 5'4". So this dress was meant for someone that was like 5'7 or 5'8 and it was just too long. So I had to get the bottom chopped off, a couple inches top chopped off and I'm glad I did. It was only like 12 bucks to get it hemmed. For dress up coats, this is what I own. I have a beige one, a black one. They are the same coat just in two different colors. They're super comfortable. They go with dresses. They go with any outfit, even with a pair of leggings and sneakers, they go with a pair of jeans. Like these coats are so versatile and that's why I bought them. I also want to point out, which I didn't in the beginning, nothing is like color organized or like in color. Like I don't have the blacks with the blacks and the beige with the beiges. I try to go by the length. If I was to organize everything by color, the length wouldn't be organized so I have to make sure the length like there's enough room for my shoe rack moving on to cardigans I own three okay so I lied I have four cardigans not three I forgot to mention this one so I'm going to mention it really quick here I'm not going to go too in detail with all the other cardigans as well because this video will be longer than it's supposed to be but this one is from Nine West. I love it. I'll try my best to link it below. It was in the clearance rack at Kohl's because I believe they were discontinuing this because I only paid like $10 for this cardigan. Don't mind the cat fur either. That's my life. <laughs> I only lint roll my stuff when I wear them. So you're going to see a lot of cat fur. A white one. Favorite cardigan of all time is this beige one from Old Navy. I have owned this since 2018. And my last cardigan is a recent one. And this one is from Amazon. Moving on to hoodies. So I have four hoodies here. I have a black zip up hoodie. You guys have seen me in videos with this as well. I love it. Super comfortable. It's thin. I think it's a little too thin for winter. If it's like really, really cold out, I wouldn't wear this. Every time I wear this hoodie, I feel like I'm in Pretty Little Liars. I swear, Pretty Little Liars ruin black hoodies for me. Every time I see a black zip-up hoodie, I'm like, yep, that's A. I have my gray hoodie. Now, I like this gray hoodie. I wear it mostly around the house. The only, I mean, it's not the hoodie's fault. When I wear this, I don't really feel the most comfortable, so I never leave the house with this because of my breasts. This doesn't look as good on me as the black one. Um, they are two different materials. This one's a little bit thicker. And every time I wear it, I just feel like my breasts, like I am a double D, like I told you guys, my breasts overpower the entire hoodie. So my breasts just come out and it's just like, bam. And for these two hoodies, they're exactly the same, just in different colors. They are my go-to gym hoodies. I wear this with leggings. I'll wear this with working out. I'll wear this going to the grocery store, running errands. They're perfect for every season. Also, you guys, I like to pair them with the pea coats. So they have that buttery soft material. Same thing as my leggings. I like that buttery soft feel. It also gets less cat fur with this material. So I really, really like that. For sweaters, I only own one. And this one is 
<laughs> this one's hacked up. I'm not going to lie. I've had this since 20, the end of 2017. It is definitely ripped and I've seen better days, but I don't want to let it go because I love it. I love the way I look in it and I have worn it so many times in videos i've worn it out to dinner with you know a pair of leggings or a pair of jeans and it just it, it works so well over here is just a white tee this is like the best white tee i've ever owned i'm not a fan of white tees again with having a bigger chest they never look good for me i should say um it always makes me look bigger than i am but this one doesn't this one's from banana republic i know banana republic's so expensive hear me out <laughs> this was in the clearance rack one day i went in there with my sister we, I, we were just at the mall she likes to shop so obviously i'm there with i'm just there for company and we we're looking through the clearance racks and i found this for two dollars only two dollars and i said yep i need a white tee i tried it on it fits perfect so for long sleeves it's the same material as this t-shirt it's just a black long sleeve shirt and a beige one even though these are kind of low cut um, they don't show the girls as much and i respect that it's like i don't like my cleavage showing and this big chunk right here is tank tops i've talked about these so many times so i'm not gonna go too in depth with them because you guys have seen me wear them you guys see me talk about them in my favorites videos they are all from old navy i have beige green black dark gray blue and white these tank tops i can wear alone and they'll look fine i'll also wear them with the hoodies that i have the zip up hoodies the cardigans they have a thicker strap i don't like to wear spaghetti strap tank tops like i used to um i felt like my boobs were hanging by a thread i've said that before bigger straps make me feel a little bit more secure and comfortable with the girls i wear leggings every day example a i'm wearing these these leggings are old they're they're kind of almost ripped over here I'm not going to show that but these leggings are going to be going soon what i've been doing is i've been kind of sticking with black so black leggings only i have the same brand for all of them there's no elastic on the waist so it doesn't make you look like a stuffed sausage they're super comfortable they're buttery soft and the best part about them they're only 24 dollars these are empty because they're in the wash like i said i wear them every day um i wore these ripped ones today Today so I can show you guys the black ones. I have one pair in capris and then the rest are just in regular leggings and they're all the same color. Like I said, I'm sticking with black because it goes with everything and they do have different designs so you don't have to necessarily get black. They have pink, they have purple, they have army colors, like all different designs. For jeans, I only own two pairs of jeans because you guys know I'm on a weight loss journey. I feel like I'm always saying that, but losing weight in your 30s is so much harder than losing weight in your 20s. So I'm just sticking with two pairs of jeans. I have a high-waisted black pair, which goes with every shirt I showed. Um, and then I have these jeans right here that I have owned for about four years. And again, it's so weird. Even with my weight gain, they still fit fine. They're a little, little bit tight on the waist, but not crazy tight. Like they, you know, like regular jeans would be. I do want to say that these are not regular jeans. They're stretchy jeans. I'm always looking for a good robe. I heard really good things about this company. It's from Under the Canopy. It's a very expensive robe. I didn't pay the normal price. Um, again, I always look for sales and deals. And it went on sale for $21. Like, I want to say in the beginning of spring. And I am not happy with this robe. I just wanted to see what the hype was about. And I wish, I wish I can get my $21 back. Because originally, I think it's like $80 or $100 original price. Do not pay that, you guys. You could find better robes than this. My biggest problem with it is the fact that, like, it's just so dingy. After you wash it, so dingy. When you put it on, the rope is, like, choking you. Like, the rope never stays in place. It's so uncomfortable. Like, everything's just so folded up. I tried to fix everything with the steamer. I tried to do everything to fix this freaking robe. And I hate it. So my other bottoms, these are my trousers. I've been getting into trousers, like when I go to a doctor's visit, to dentist. It's kind of like when I want to feel a little bit more dressed up, but I didn't try too hard. And trousers is the way to go. These are a little short, and that's what I kind of wanted because I wanted these to be perfect for fall, spring, and summer. I do need maybe like two pairs of like longer trousers for 
the winter months because I really, really like wearing these. I have them on this side because they are long and I don't want them to interfere with the shoe rack. The quality of these trousers are great. I purchased them from TJ Maxx. They were all on the clearance section. So for colors, I know this is not really picking up, but I have like a light, light gray color, beige and black. Again, they're super comfortable and they make me feel very, very put together. Something different. I've never owned trousers in my life. So I just feel like my wardrobe is a little bit more elevated with having a decent pair of trousers. Last thing I want to show you guys is my jacket. That is my only winter jacket. It is vegan friendly. Like you can wear this in a snowstorm and not feel cold ever. They're so good that my boyfriend ended up buying one for work because he's always outside when it comes to like taking photos of houses and when it snows, he's still outside. So he wanted to stay nice and warm and he really, really likes these jackets as well. It's so worth the price. I paid full price for this jacket. It was like $180 and it's an investment in my wardrobe because I've had this for years and it's something that I'll have even for like years to come because it's, the quality is great. Um, I can honestly see this jacket lasting for like when my kids get older, I can probably pass this down to them. That's how amazing the quality is. So again, all the links will be down below. I hope you guys liked it and I will catch you in the next video.